Back here in Duluth, exciting finish. Dragons win 30-29. to Your post-game coach's interview brought to you by Valley Imports. Uh, you know what? Wide receivers coach Chase Montplaisier, you know, sometimes you get to call some of those plays, obviously. What was the factor in making this comeback in the second half? Oh, man, I think there was a lot less to do with football than anything. It was a lot of find-a-way mentality for our guys. This is a group that has really bought into the idea that, that it's it's not about football. It's about everything between the action, and you saw it come through. We weren't in a good spot at one point there late, yeah. and, they, and they found a way. It helps It helps with Jack Strand. Brady Perryman played really well. Defense had, I don't know how many times, held them to a kick, yes. um, and that was huge because if we didn't have a few of those, this game looks a lot different. So both sides did a bunch of stuff that helped us win. Brady Perryman's the man of the hour. Yep. What three receiving touchdowns, a two-point conversion. I know you want to get down onto the field. There were still some things you got to work on offensively, but what was the difference in your offense from week one to week two? Yeah, I think I think part of it was was Jack got in a rhythm. We saw stuff throughout the game that we felt like we could execute against, whereas week one was a bitter, bigger struggle for us. So that was good. And at the end of the day. Brady Perryman uh, had, had one heck of a game. That was a heck of a college football game. It was just an awesome game. It was really fun to be a part of. But number three today was, uh, was the difference maker, kind of start to finish. He was, he was incredible. Uh, was there more of an emphasis on those check downs and taking the short passes, obviously, this week compared to last week? Yeah, I think we put Luke back in the backfield a little more today and, and, and said let's let him work on people in, in some space. He had a huge conversion on a, just a flip to the flat. He had a conversion on third down. So it was, all right, Jack, not there. Get to that second, mm-hmm. like you said, that last read, if you will. Um, and I thought he did a, a much better job today than he did a week ago. Uh, last question. When it comes to that last drive, was there something you guys saw down uh, the stretch that allowed you guys to go down not once but twice to get touchdowns and two-point conversions to pull out this upset? Yeah, I thought guys made plays. You, you, go, you go Carson Elbert on the, on the first touchdown drive there on the, of those last two. He, he, we just throw one up to Carson Albert, and he jumps, and it, guys just made plays. Um, yeah. Matt Thorson makes a big catch. Obviously, BP uh, Brady made some plays, um, but but guys found a way to make plays. Was there a scheme that were like, all right, well we got this? Thank God, no. It was all right. Well, we're gonna call. The, we're gonna call where Perryman's running somewhere, <laughs> Thorson's running one way, and we're gonna throw it to one of them or, or Florence or whoever. And Jack Strand and Brady Perryman and, and Gage Florence and all them stepped up and did what they needed to do. And, and the defense, there was a lot of bend but don't break. And man, what yeah. a fun game. What a fan. Fantastic game. Chase, uh, just to thank you for your time. Appreciate Obviously, it. get back down to the field to go Will talk do. to the guys. Tell them congratulations. Will what do. a fun go game. Celebrate. Go you guys celebrate. Got, you, got, you got some fun things to do. All right, we'll work dra- on Monday. <laughs> go Dragons.